Hey guys, for Forsaken Reality here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up multiplayer replication for the top-down template in Unreal Engine 5. So basically, we'll have everything working like this. And each character will move on each other's screen. You may notice that the cameras are at different locations. This project is using the third-person third template converted to a top-down project and I set up some extra things such as mouse rotation with a middle mouse button trigger and input camera rotation. So this is the mouse rotation it has a little bit of delay there when you let it go and input rotation with Q and E. Um, in a future video, I'll show you how to set this up along with uh, converting the third person template to a replicated top down template. So without further ado, we will get into setting this up. First thing I'm just going to do is close this stuff down. And move this project out of the way for now. Just going to close this stuff out so it looks the way it was if you were to create a blank top-down template. And this is what you'd get, just this right here. First thing you want to do is open up your content, go to top down blueprints and open up the controller. You'll notice in here that we have a few things in here for input touch and, and our uh, click to move. For now, I'm just going to leave this out. Before we do this, actually, we'll want to go into our project settings here and search for client side and allow client side navigation. That. So the first thing in here we'll want to deal with is our move to loca hit location. And we'll want to replicate this here specifically. So we can come out to our event graph. And I'm just going to break all this because we're not going to be using the tick event and we're not going to be using the input in this method. So the first thing I want to do is create a custom event and we're going to call this server move to location. And we're going to look for a simple move to location. Plug in this and we'll plug in our controller and our goal. And we'll set this to run on server and reliable. I'll put this over here for now. So now we have this this event. We can come into here. I'm just going to break this off. And in here, break all these connections for now. And break this connection. And from here, we're going to drag out. I think switch has authority. And we do have authority. We're going to just run the server move to locations. It's just basically where the server or not. And make some a little bit more room there. 
and we can target ourself and we're also in the controller so the controller is also self and our goal is our location we could drag out of here and we could create a local variable or we could also just make sure you compile and save you'll notice we'll get an error here but that'll allow this variable to be available you can right click and search location and you'll get this variable right here which is a little bit a little different than a normal variable if you were to just create one you'll notice there's a few things missing here it's because it's just a value available within this instance of the function so we can compile and save this and this will get this location here and if we are not the server then we will want to tell the server that we are moving and we actually want to move so Asian I guess it'll look a little bit more organized if that was out there like that. Probably spent a little too much time in these videos organizing. I cut down a lot of time, but I feel it's worth it. So that's our simple move to location. And we can... Run this right here. If you want that. We're actually just going to disconnect that for the moment because we don't need that in the move to. So now we have our simple move to location. And I'm just going to create an event called new custom event. Okay. Click location. And I guess I don't need this. I'll probably move that in a little bit. And now we're going to deal with our input here. And we're going to want to get rid of this timer. So, or this event, this tick, because you don't really want to use that. You want to use a timer probably. So we're going to create a timer, custom event, and this will be the start click timer. And then we're going to set timer by function name. And or by event, I guess. This that would also work if you were to write the event's name in there into the function name, but set timer by event. And we will drag it up here. Drop down, create a dispatcher. Look for your update click location. Set that to looping. And we'll set that to 0 0.01. Drag it up here and promote that to a variable. So we have our click location time timer handle. I have a reference to that when it's set. And I believe that's all we need to do for this event. Event. And this one's going to be for stopping the timer. Stop, click, timer. And all we're going to do here is clear and invalid, invalidate timer by handle. And the timer we want to clear and invalidate is this one.
basically when we click, it's going to continuously loop through this one rather than having it running on a tick or following the mouse cursor specifically. And when we stop clicking, it will clear it and it will just save the last location and just move, move to that location basically. And just run that there like that. Start organizing things a little better here. So for here, we'll want that stop movement and We'll start the click timer when we press the mouse. This comment will probably want to delete for now because it doesn't make sense. And for the release. Don't think we're going to need this. So I'm just going to move that aside and keep it down over here with the tick event that I'm probably going to end up removing everything from. And we're going to stop our click timer from here when we release. And now if we were to just test everything out, you want to set your number of players up and make sure you set as listen server. And everybody moves. Now, if you would like the hit under cor cursor to work, so we'll go in here, you could either plug it in like this. I feel like it would be a little neater if we grab that. I just hit control X to copy and delete it at the same time, basically. And right where we update our click location here, and delete this. Plug that in there. So every time it updates our click location, this should run things properly. Actually, no, that's spamming it. Okay, yeah, we had it in this spot correctly in the first spot, so I'll just gotta quickly move that back. So I'm gonna test it out there, then I realize that this is run on a timer. And just control C copy and control V. And actually it seems to be spamming it still. One moment I'll look into a quick fix for that one. I don't use it in my project, so I never had it set up. All right, so I figured it out pretty quickly. You want to just control X that or delete it, copy it, control V here. And when you press your mouse button, we'll spawn that.
I'll just quickly throw it on the vent here. So now when you click, you will spawn the mouse FX cursor. We have our timer, we have our click FX, server moves in location, and we can delete this tick event because we don't need it no more. So this is all working without the tick use of the tick event. And I guess we could have it work for the mouse too by just Placing this. Double check that that was correct. Yeah, I'm missing a couple of variables here. So we'll just plug this in in case you want to touch. If you don't need touch, you don't need to do this part. You can just delete it all together. I usually delete it because I never really deal with touch too much. And now that should replicate it for touch, which would be for like mobile and different things like that. I'm actually just going to move that over here. This other input. And there we go. That's everything right there. So if you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial video uploads. I'll be doing some more top-down stuff in the future very soon, so make sure to keep an eye out on that if you're interested. Everything will be focused on multiplayer. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section below or join my Discord server using the link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next one.